Sometimes it's not directly about the frame, but more about things the frame allows you to put in your loadout. Let me explain. Valkyr has the highest armor in the game. With the use of Umbra mods and her armor buff from Warcry, she can easily go over 90% damage reduction just with that. Add adaptation and you're as tanky as it gets. Which is perfect for a frame that's made to brawl, it also means that Arcane Guardian or other Arcanes that help you survive are not needed. Eternal Warcry makes Warcry, well, eternal. It extends duration with every kill and that means that energy management is pretty good. No need for energize in an arcane slot. It leaves both of your arcane slots open for you to put stuff that boosts melee weapons. All that makes Valkyr pretty easy to build. Three Umbra mods, adaptation, bit more ability strength and duration, or cry augment and hunter adrenaline. While I do have a two Umbra forma on her, it's not needed. You can use rank zero adaptation and rage with little to no drawbacks and keep using all three Umbra mods maxed out. Since we are focusing on melee, it's Steel Charge as our aura, and in those Arcane slots, I've put Arcane Fury for more melee damage and Arcane Avenger for more critical chance. But that's not a full extent of why this build is my favorite for melee shenanigans. Valkyr's high attack speed bonus is additive, which means that you can take off your attack speed mods from your melee builds and put something else instead. Steel Charge and Arcane Fury mean that you can even ditch damage mods in your melee build. All that together opens up for some fun melee builds where you have room for mods that you wouldn't be able to use otherwise. Like Spring Loaded Blade for 2 meters of extra melee range. Or even make complex hybrid builds that are good for both high combo plays and heavy attacks with Relentless Combination for example. Or maybe just add another elemental to feed Condition Overload. Valkyr allows your melee builds to have zero sacrifices. Using the Aramon with her also helps with sustaining a combo, or you can use Dexterity Arcanes on your primary and secondary weapons, or both. Either way, if you're focusing on your melee, then having Dexterity on your firearms is basically a free slot. Apart from introducing a slow combo DK, Aramon's ability that adds double combo gain is quite a fun one, with some of the more higher end builds that can do regular and heavy attacks. To talk more about Arcane Avenger, it's a flat 45% critical chance gain, and as we talked about before, her being extremely tanky and brawling her way through means that this boost is basically permanent. Which helps with a lot of weapons. Nerf the Blood Rush made it harder to reach those red criticals we cherish so much, and this puts you that much closer to it. Also, freeing up melee mod slots allows us to use more mods to add critical chance like both Blood Rush and Sacrificial Steel, together. To top it off, I'm using Panzer Wu Pahala with Valkyr. What little Panzer does is prime enemies with viral procs, increasing my damage. On the theme of opening up your mod slots, that means that you do not have to run viral on your melee weapon. You can either focus on maximizing slash procs, if that's fitting for your weapon, or pick an elemental that has a very strong modifier against certain enemies, like Corrosive, for example. I'm also running Hunter Recovery mod on Panzer, which gives a lot of healing to Valkyr. I don't think it's needed too much since her fourth ability offers a lot of heals, but this way it's more fluent with your melee of choice. But this time you probably realized what I meant at the beginning by saying that this is not about what Valkyr directly does with her stats and abilities, but what those mean for your melee builds. Because you can create some insanely overpowered melee builds with her. My favorite weapon to play with her is Arca Titron, because of its slam capacitor, and this even stretches what her build adds to the weapon. Two mods out of Nira's mod set go on your frame. And with small sacrifices to duration and mobility, I get 200% extra slam damage. All those things we mentioned above allow me to run this build on Titron and make it strong and comfortable. No attack speed mods, corrosive damage, using both Blood Rush and Sacrificial Steel to push criticals further. Those two, combined with Arcane Avenger, put me at about 250% total critical chance, which is glorious with such a hard hitting weapon. That does not help much with Capacitor Slam, but thanks to my entire Valkyr loadout, freeing up my slots, I can fit more slam damage into the build. 
And this is just glorious. Messing around with this weapon gave me some of my most fun times I had with melee weapons in Wolfframe. Naruman allowing me to use Heavy Slam for damage overkill in 20 meter range just never ceases to be entertaining to me. Sure, with Nira mods the duration is kinda low, which can be rough in general missions. Not in survival though. I plan to compensate for this with shards, once I get a few more of them. Using Blind Rage instead of Transient Fortitude would help as well, but in my case I run Power Drain, with it Blind Rage just makes it too much. Another thing to talk about is the choice of helmet abilities. I went with Hideous Resistance to add status immunity, for comfort. You can add more damage buffs and other abilities that give you comfort with your melee weapons. It really depends on your personal preference. I ditched her third ability for it since I kinda enjoy using her first ability from time to time. That's in part a reason why I don't have Narrow Minded as a duration mod, but Prime Continuity, cause Narrow Minded rips range. All that combined is why Valkyr Prime is my go-to frame to push my melee builds to their absolute edge. She just gives so much freedom with modding my melee, and she's naturally super tanky so there's little to no care for me to get stuck in and keep swinging it. So much so that a bunch of my melee weapons have a special config for when I use them on Valkyr. Thank you for watching, subscribe to help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one.